Hello everyone. In this video I want to talk through a classic genetic engineering case study and it's that of golden rice. I want to explain about the story of how it came about and the reason why it's so significant. So this video is really aimed at those studying biology at key stage five because it's only really then do you do this topic in this level of detail. So golden rice was developed initially to help those who are at risk of suffering from vitamin A deficiency. So I'm just going to put a few bullet points down the side, just the, just the key bits really. So this was to help those who were at risk of vitamin A deficiency. Now, rice plants contain the gene that codes for something called beta-carotene. And this is a precursor to the molecule retinol, which we know as vitamin A. Now, beta-carotene does not form naturally in the bit of the rice plant that we actually eat, called the endosperm. Now, the endosperm areas of the plant do, however contain most of the metabolic pathway to produce beta-carotene, but they lack two enzymes which enable its production. Because really, from an evolutionary point of view, the rice plant has no need for the molecule in that area. Now the two enzymes involved are called phytoene synthetase and CRT1 enzyme. I'm gonna, I will do a flow chart to represent all of the things that I've just said, but I'm just going to quickly mention these two in particular. And these two that I've just named here, the two essential ones to know about are phytoene synthetase and one called CRT1. Enzyme. Now the genes coding for these enzymes have been extracted from other sources and inserted into the DNA of the endosperm of rice plants. Phytoene synthetase, I should just say, comes from a daffodil and the CRT1 enzyme actually comes from a bacterium. So let's just do a quick diagram to explain essentially where I'm going with all of this. So if we imagine that we have precursor molecules here. So we've got some precursor molecules and what we need that to do is turn into essentially something called phytoene or phytoene. Now for that to happen, we need phytoene synthetase from a daffodil. So we're just gonna draw again, we'll keep this very quick. So let's imagine we've got a daffodil plant here. Only a very rough sketch. So there's our daffodil. And the phytoene synthetase enzyme converts a variety of precursor molecules into phytoene. So from this daffodil, Deal, we're going to get, I'll just call it number one for now, this phytoene synthetase, number one. And that allows us to turn precursor molecules into phytoene. Let's put an arrow going there. Now once we've got that phytoene, we actually need to turn that into something called lycopene. So just put a lot, and that we need into something called lycopene. Now for that to happen, we need the CRT1 enzyme, and that comes from a bacterium. So if we just draw a rough sketch of a bacterium there. Just colour that in, we'll give it a little bit of a blue interior there. There is our bacterium, we'll put some 
peel eye around the outside just to make it look pretty. And that CRT1 enzyme converts phytoene into what's called lycopene. And that is the precursor molecule for what's called the carotenoids. So we're going to obtain our CRT1 enzyme from this bacterium. If we just draw a little blue arrow here. We're going to put a number 2 because that there... Is provided at that stage. Now once we've got lycopene we need to then get that into what's called beta carotene. So that we need to go into beta carotene and we're going to need enzymes for that. Now the enzymes are already present in rice endosperm. So I'm just going to draw some grains of rice there. And we'll just put here enzymes present in the endosperm. Now other enzymes convert the lycopene into the range of carotenoid molecules including beta-carotene. So it's not just beta-carotene, but that's one of the ones that we get from it. Now with these two enzymes, golden rice is able to produce beta-carotene, which means those who do not have other access to retinol, or vitamin A, can obtain it from beta-carotene. Golden rice is described actually as biofortified. And we're just gonna make a note of that word because that's one, a key word I think we need to just put down here. Just put it in a bracket. Bio for defied. Because it contains higher levels of certain beneficial substances than it naturally would. Now this product is currently undergoing food safety investigations and full crop trials were actually completed in 2012. So there's a little bit about golden rice and the and how it really came about. Um, obviously, there are arguments for and against the use of genetically modified crops. And in the videos I've done on genetic engineering, I use this as an example to talk about the, the larger scale implications that this kind of technology has. I just wanted to give you an overview in this video of the story of golden rice. Okay, hope all that helps.